More than two dozen of the wounded on November 5th remain in the hospital. Four are in ICU, but they are in stable condition. Our Jenny Hoff tells us what they went through and how one mom got the news her son was shot. Thirteen roses mark the entrance to Fort Hood. It's pretty stressful. Janice Armstrong knows all too well just how easily there could have been 14. He called and left a message on my cell phone. He called and left a message on my home phone. He's like, emergency, emergency. Mom, pick up the phone, pick up the phone, emergency. Then you could hear it fade off. Oh, I've been shot. And I'm like, and then it just went dead. It, it was hard. It, it was really hard. But I knew he was alive because he called. Armstrong's son, Private First Class James Armstrong, was one of the wounded on November 5th, shot twice while serving as a human shield for his friends. I mean, they crawled around on the floor trying to get away from the gunshot. He's got people behind him, and he's guarding them. But Armstrong says her son doesn't want to be thought of as a hero, just like many of the wounded who lost friends in a battle they never thought they'd have to fight. There's a lot of heroes still in Iraq and Afghanistan. They do not need to be forgotten either. Armstrong also knows that reality. My stepson wears spurs. With two nephews and a stepson all in Afghanistan right now, she says she must wipe away the tears of a mom and build up the strength of a soldier. We got to move on. It's time. It's happened. It's done. It's time to get mad and get even, I think, a little bit, don't you? Armstrong says she's now ready for justice, and tomorrow we're going to find out exactly how the criminal investigation is progressing when we hear from the spokesperson for the CID into what they found when it comes to Major Nadal Hassan. Reporting from Fort Hood, Jenny Hoff, KXAN Austin News.